arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence whose consecutive terms have a common difference. The common difference, D, is identified by subtracting the term by its previous term. Example, 7, 11, 15, 19 is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 4. 4 is obtained by subtracting 11 and 7, 15 and 11, and 19 and 15. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence is also called its general term. It is determined by using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. Let's have examples. Number 1. Write the general term of the arithmetic sequence 7, 11, 15, 19, and so on. First, let us identify the first term and the common difference. The first term is 7. The common difference can be obtained by subtracting the second term by the first term, and that's 11 minus 7. So, the common difference is 4. Next, substitute the values into the formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. a sub 1 is 7 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, which is 4. Distribute 4 to the expression inside the parentheses. 4 times n, that is 4n. 4 times negative 1, that is negative 4. And then, copy the remaining number. Next, add the constants 7 and negative 4. So that is 7 plus negative 4 is 3 plus 4n. So the nth term of the sequence is 4n plus 3. Number 2. Find the 12th term of the arithmetic sequence 8, 13, 18. The first term is 8. The common difference is 13 minus 8, that is 5. And since we're looking for the 12th term, n is 12. Using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, substitute the values. n is 12, a sub 1 is 8 plus 12 minus 1, d is 5. Then simplify. So 8 plus subtract 12 and 1, that is 11. And then multiply it to 5. So 5 times 11 is 55 plus 8, that is 63. So the 12th term is 63. Number 3. Find the 20th term if the first term is 30 and the common difference is negative 2. Again, using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Let's substitute the given values. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 is 30 plus n. Since we're looking for the 20th term, then n is 20 minus 1 times d. That is negative 2. So let's simplify. 30 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 times negative 2. Let's multiply 19 and negative 2 and that is negative 38. And then let's add 30 plus negative 38 is negative 8. So the 20th term is equal to negative 8. Number 4. In the arithmetic sequence 107, 101, 95, and so on, which term has a value of negative 61? 
So here, the first term is 107. The common difference can be obtained by subtracting 101 and 107. And that is negative 6. So the value of negative 61 will serve as our a sub n. Okay, so here the n is missing. Which is the one we're going to find. Again, using the formula a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Let's substitute the given values. a sub n is negative 61. a sub 1 is 107 plus n is unknown minus 1 times d. That is negative 6. Okay, so copy natin yung negative 61, also yung 107 plus let's simplify the product of these two terms so negative 61 times n is negative 6n negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6 and then let's add 107 107 by n 6 so that is 113 plus or just disregard plus since uh, the term here is negative so that's minus 6n Let's move this number to the left side. So we have now negative 61 minus 113, which is equal to negative 6n. Let's get their difference. So negative 61 minus 113 is negative 174 is equal to negative 6n. To solve for n, of course, let's divide both sides by negative 6. So cancel. So n now is equal to 29. Number 5. Given an arithmetic sequence with 21st term, that is negative 17, and the common difference negative 3, find the first term. Using the nth term, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Let's substitute the given values. The uh, nth term is negative 17, where n is 21. So here is 21 minus 1. A sub 1 is unknown. D is negative 3. Okay. So here, let's copy negative 17. Also, A sub 1. Plus 21 minus 1 is 20 times negative 3. So, negative 17 is equal to a sub 1 plus the product of these two numbers, which is negative 60. Okay, let's move negative 60 to the left side. That becomes negative 17 plus 60 is equal to a sub 1. Let's add negative 17 plus 60 is positive 43. So, the first term is 43. Number 6. Find D if A sub 1 is 3 and A sub 30 is 148. So the last term is 148 is equal to the first term is 3 plus the quantity. Since the last term is on 30th, N is 30, then minus 1 times D, which is unknown. Okay, so let's simplify 148. Is equal to 3 plus 30 minus 1, that's 29 times D. Let's move 3 to the other side, so that's 148 minus 3 is equal to 29D. Let's subtract 148 minus 3 is 145 is equal to 29D. So let's divide both sides by 29. So cancel, so that's D. So 145 over 29 is 5. So therefore, the common difference is 5. Find the next four terms of the arithmetic sequence 4, 10, 16, 22. Okay, so we have here 4, 10, 16, 22. And we're looking for the next four terms. Okay, so let's first identify the common difference, which is equal to 10 minus 4, and that is 
6. Using the common difference, we're going to add it to 22 to get the next term. So 22 plus 6, that is 28. Next, plus 6, that's 34. Plus 6, 40. And the last term is 46. The next four terms are 28, 34, 40, and 46. Okay, so that ends our short discussion on arithmetic sequence. I hope you learned something from this. Thank you for watching.